Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I will show you stored procedure in MySQL. So let's get started. So let me start with what is a procedure. So procedure is basically a collection of pre-compiled SQL statements and these are stored inside the database. So if you have any query that you write over and over again, so you can save it in a store procedure and you just have to execute it. So basically this code is like reusable. So now let me show you database that I'm going to use. So I'm having one student table. You can see name, class, mark, gender and status. These column are there. So here in routines, you can go and check. I'm having two function I have created in my previous video. You can go and watch that as well. I have shown you how to create function in MySQL. So here I'm telling you how to create a procedure. So now secondly, what is the syntax of creating store procedure? So firstly, you need to write create procedure after that procedure name. Then parameters will be there. Parameters will be defined like firstly, it's a type that it's a input type output type or in out both then there is parameter name and third is parameter type like in type var type what type it is after that begin and end in inside begin you will be writing your declaration section that is where you declare your variables if if you are defining any variable inside procedure then there is executable section like any select query like Query basically all your will be in executable section then end and delimiter. So now let me show you by example. So I'm going to create a sort procedure for getting student list. So I'll be passing limit and offset. You can consider it uh, like for pagination. So firstly write delimiter. It's basically to send all the queries as a single unit to MySQL. So inside delimiter write create procedure. So write name let's say get student list. And inside that I need to pass parameters. So here limit and offset I need to pass. So its type is going to be in. So in basically is like what we will be sending while we are calling our procedure. So it will act as an input. So here write in is a limit num in type. It's going to be an integer type. Second is also in offset and also in type. So write begin and end and inside this we will be writing our logic or SQL queries. So now write SQL query. So write select star from student and in where write let's say status equals to one. I only want active students and after that pass limit and in limit write limit num after that offset and write offset num. So now click on go and create your first procedure. So now let's go to routines and check our procedure. So now let me edit. So you can see all these options for add routine. So you can write routine name, type procedure, then you can see input I have passed two inputs and then and then in definition you can see the logic. So all these things I have used in query and also you can create in routine as well. So now let's execute the procedure. So write let's say limit 10 and offset I'm passing 0. So you can see now after executing that first 10 students it's uh, giving as a result as offset is 0 passed. So now let me pass limit as 10 and offset is 10. So now you will be getting next 10 output. So you can see ID 10, 11 to 20 we are getting. So now let me execute again let's say limit 20 and offset also 20. So now you will be getting 20 data, let's say 21 to, you can see 35. We are only having 35 total. So in procedure, you can also write select or delete, update, insert command as well. So here I have shown you select command. So now let me show you how to call from a query. So write call and after that procedure name, get student list and pass parameter as well. So here I'm passing 10 and 0. So now you can see I'm getting 10 students, first 10 students I'm getting here. So in procedure I have written select star. So that's the reason all columns are coming. You can just write the column names that you want. So now you can see now next 10 students I'm getting here. So now let me show you another procedure by creating in add routine. 
So here, firstly, write routine name, let's say update student marks, type procedure. So here parameters I'm going to pass is two parameters. So first one is, uh, let's say student ID. And after that, updated marks. So let's say S marks. So in definition, write begin and end. And inside that, write update statement. So write update student set mark equals to S marks where ID equals to SID. So a particular student marks I'm updating here. So now let's create. So now let me open table in another window. So go to student table. And uh, let's say for first one we are going to update. So it's mark is having 75. So now let's execute our procedure. So here I am passing SID let's say 1 and uh, marks let's say 80. So now go and now if I browse again. So now you can see first one mark is 80. So in this video I have shown you how to create store procedure. So if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down below. So that's all in this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.